The late Cretaceous really seemed to have turned it up a notch with the dinosaurs, as all the major terrestrial apex predatory theropod groups got either speed or agility upgrades or both. Even the big Tyrannosaurs seemed to have evolved their enormous leg muscles just for this purpose, being pound for pound way more agile than Allosauroids. There is one Tyrannosaur in particular that would have been able to produce quite high speed throughout its lifespan, even though it was a giant. The Albertosaurus, often referred to as the sports car version of Tyrannosaurus, is actually so much more than just that. In fact, he wasn't even a Tyrannosaurine, such as Tyrannosaurus, but instead a member of the Tyrannosaurid subgroup Albertosaurinae, which houses Albertosaurus itself plus Gorgosaurus libratus. Albertosaurus is known from Paleomedia, namely Prehistoric Park, Jurassic Fight Club, March of the Dinosaurs, Primeval, etc. Albertosaurus bite force estimates for the back teeth are only 3413 newtons. Albertosaurus instead relied on its specialized teeth. These teeth had cracks that lead to ampullas, which allows the force to be evenly distributed across the tooth, making Albertosaurus' teeth not only strong but also flexible. Albertosaurus seemed to have the grip to tear and rip flesh more easily. Albertosaurus actually was quite a big animal, reaching up to 30 feet or 9 meters in length and weighing up to 3 metric tons. It lived 71 to 66 million years ago, making it the second biggest Tyrannosaur genus in Maastrichtian North America, second only to the Tyrannosaurus. Anyways, Albertosaurus sarcophagus was first named in 1905 by Osborne. Albertosaurus is a bipedal predator with short arms, two fingered hands, and a massive head with dozens of large, quite sharp teeth, a strong sense of smell, and powerful binocular vision. A walking speed of 14 to 21 km per hour of 8 to 13 miles per hour seems plausible for Albertosaurus. Jesus Christ, what's its running speed then? Now it doesn't seem that far-fetched to assume that Albertosaurus adults could reach up to 30 km per hour or 18 miles per hour, while younger individuals would have been even faster, reaching over 40 km per hour or 25 miles per hour. Speed. I am speed. Faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am Albertosaurus. In fact, Albertosaurus could have relied not only on ambush predation with short bursts of speed, but also on pursuit predation, hunting down ceratopsians or hadrosaurs mostly. Albertosaurus may have also been a pack hunter, as 26 specimens of varying sizes and ages have been discovered in 1910 in the dry island bomb bed. Such assemblages can originate from natural predator traps or a natural catastrophe. These Tyrannosaurus could have hunted in unorganized groups, or families, or even if improbable, coordinated packs. But what animals did this dinosaur coexist with? Well, let's start with the elephant in the room, as Albertosaurus may have had a companion record too, which is uncertain. It might have coexisted with the giant crocodilian Dinosuchus, with whom it has often been depicted in paleoart and documentaries. Most Albertosaurus fossils though come from the Horseshoe Canyon formation of Western Canada in the Maastrichtian age, specifically alongside the Red Deer River near Drumheller, Alberta. Meaning, Albertosaurus and Dinosuchus coexistence seems to be quite improbable. However, the formation contains many other animals, including the marsupial Didelphodon, some fish, reptiles such as the turtle Basilemus, one alligatorite called Stangerochampsa, the Choristoda Champsosaurus, and the Plesiosaur Lurospondylus. Fucking hell, man. I'm finished. Dinosaurs include ankylosaurs such as Edmontonia, hadrosaurs such as Edmontosaurus and Saurolophus, ceratopsians such as Pachyrhinosaurus and Eotriceratops, the Pachycephalosaurus ferretolus, and Fescalosaur Paxosaurus. Many raptoran theropods, the Alvarezsaur Albertonicus, the Dromaeosaurid Atrociraptor, the Trudontid Alberta Venator, as well as two canic nephid oviraptorosaurs named Epichirus denodes and Apatoraptor. The speedsters of the formation were the three Oniphomimids, Trufiomimus, Oniphomimus, and Dromigeomimus, while the apex predator was the Albertosaurus sarcophagus. Ooh, their brothers floating in the air. Albertosaurus was the third biggest Tyrannus of the Maastrichtian period. As always, I'm going by genuses. Anyways, that's it for the dinosaur profile of Albertosaurus. Leave a like if you liked it, also subscribe so you don't miss anything. You can also check out the playlist Dinosaur Profiles for more dinosaur profiles, as well as Twitter for my dinosaur stuff and Instagram for fitness stuff. Wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.